During this presidential election cycle, but also in a lot of the Senate and House races, we are seeing a full transpartisan nationwide trade revolt. And it's been basically because Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, to their own audiences, have just said what everyone sort of had as a gut instinct. We've been operating under rigged rules that have only benefits for a handful of the biggest corporations, and all the rest of us have basically been screwed. I'm Lori Wallach, and I direct Public Citizens Global Trade Watch. I guess you could call me a recovering trade attorney. I've been working on every element of trade and globalization for the last 25 plus years. I actually was working on food safety issues back in 1990 when I wandered on this thing called NAFTA that somehow would undermine our food safety and it's all been history since then. The deal is branded as a trade agreement, but of the 30 chapters, only six of them have anything to do with trade. Instead, the rules in there that make it easier and cheaper for big corporations to offshore more American jobs. There are new rights for corporations to sue governments in front of three corporate attorneys who are allowed to raid our treasuries and make us pay these corporations unlimited sums if they don't like the domestic laws and think they violate their new investor rights in the TPP. There are limits on imported food safety. There are rules that actually waive buy America and buy local so our tax dollars even get offshored. There are rules that undermine the most important climate policies we need to save the planet. There are rules in there that undermine internet freedom. And then Big Pharma got in a free trade agreement, new monopolies so that they can ban competition and jack up medicine prices. This is the agreement that will let us export our way to nirvana. We're all going to have higher wages. Farmers will get rich. An agreement after agreement that's based on the same model that the TPP expands actually have led to more jobs offshored and actually slower growth in our exports. We have an export growth penalty of 30% with the countries we have the FTAs with. Our exports grow 30% slower than our exports to countries we don't have these agreements with. Just take the most recent agreement with Korea. We were promised that would be more exports, more jobs. Four years into that agreement, which was the template for the TPP, we have seen our exports decline 9%, our trade deficit double. And using the formula the administration used to promise us more jobs, that increase in the deficit equates to over 100,000 more American jobs gone just in four years of one more bad trade agreement. A good agreement would basically get rid of all the corporate boondoggles that have gotten super glued onto the good name of trade. So we would, for instance, remove from every and all trade agreements the investor state tribunals, where the corporations can go sue governments in front of three private attorneys to raid our treasury for any law that they don't like. We would never again have new monopolies for pharmaceutical companies. It's supposed to be free trade, competition. We want to bring down medicine prices, not give more monopolies. We would have rules that simply say you can't sell goods in the U.S. unless they meet U.S. food safety standards, product safety standards. You can't operate in the U.S. unless you meet our rules for workers, for the environment. All of those rules now that are limiting of regulation you get rid of and the rule would be just treat everyone the same. You want to sell it here, meet our laws. We're not going to treat you worse, we're going to treat you the same. Both of the political parties are now actually being pushed into a position that more closely represents where most Americans are. For the Democrats, that has meant enormous pressure on the expected nominee, Hillary Clinton, to actually take a position against agreement she once said she loved. There's enormous pressure on the platform to say Democrats are against the TPP, and many of the big Senate races are fights over TPP and trade. For the Republicans, Trump has basically made them come up closer to what their base is. If Congress actually represents where the American public is on these issues, we can stop this agreement. For more information on TPP, please come to our website, which is tradewatch.org, that's tradewatch.org, and for basically add water and stir campaign materials, please go to exposethetpp.org, exposethetpp.org.